Hello, uh, welcome to Vast. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how you can run uh, some of the best large language models that exist from Hugging Face or other places on uh, very powerful GPUs. And so let me get started. Today we'll be using Ubabuga to as the web UI, which is a great interface for uh, prompting the models and also kind of loading and managing them. That's some open source software that will will load up in an instance on Vast. So uh, first kind of click into the console and make sure that you are, are logged into your account and that you have credits. If, uh, if you've never done this before with Vast, we have a different video that can go over a lot of some of the basics. Um, but for Uba Booga, you're going to come in here and uh, select our recommended uh, template for that. And uh, that's going to have a, a description here. It kind of shows you which language models um, that you can run with it. And uh, it's going to have some specific options and an on start script that you don't want to mess with. Uh, that's going to set up your environment correctly um, so that this will work. It's also going to uh, open a port for the open button and uh, that will launch the Gradio web interface so that it all just works. So really all you need to do is select that uh, template. Now, one of the most important things um, is to make sure you allocate enough disk storage. I just reset my filters because the default is only 16 gigabytes, which is not gonna be enough. A lot of these large language models are 60, 70 gigabytes. Uh, to download and your instance uh, will start to throw errors if it runs out of disk space. You also need to allocate all the disk space that you want to use up front for this instance. You cannot add it later. So uh, with that in mind, you're probably going to want, if you're just going to try one language model, uh, at least uh, about 80 gigabytes. Um, so I'm just going to move the slider to 81 and um, get that all set up. Uh, the other important thing to understand when you're running these large language models is to match the GPU with the model that you want to run. Uh, for example, if you're looking at Hugging Face, Hugging Faces has a actual LLM leaderboard. And so you can see um, some of the most uh, popular models here and um, how you can run them. And basically what you will need to do is to load these into Ubabuga uh, once we have that running. So we'll come back to this. But know that uh, the model that you, each one of these models that you're trying to run, um, for example, if you want to run Falcon 40 billion, uh, you need to read through and understand how much GPU RAM this is going to require. Uh, because if this requires, uh, say, 60 gigabytes of GPU RAM and you select a GPU that only has 10 gigabytes of GPU RAM, it is not going to work. So you need to make sure that the, the large language model that you want to run, it's going to have, um, uh, you need to figure out what uh, exact specifications it needs uh, and then select an appropriate GPU. What I like to do is to just actually select the GPU that has the most GPU RAM, which is one of our A100 uh, SMX4s or PCIe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a, a 1X SMX4. These have 80 gigabytes of GPU RAM. So um, they have uh, one of the more, more powerful cards that are out right now uh, from NVIDIA and, uh, 80 gigabytes is, is enough for most large language models. You can also select a multi GPU instance. So if I needed even more space, I could have a two X a 100, that would be, have 160 gigabytes, uh, of GPU RAM available for the large language models, or I could select sort of a cheaper option like an a 5,000 and this four X a 5,000, um, has actually 96 gigabytes of GPU RAM, uh, and it is a little bit cheaper uh, than a single A100. You can also look at an A6000, they have 48 gigabytes of GPU RAM, and an A40 uh, has 45 gigabytes of GPU RAM. 
the consumer graphics cards like the 4090 and 3090 are only going to have 24 gigabytes of GPU RAM each. So again, this is just something that you want to be really aware of and make sure that you're selecting a GPU that's going to have enough space. So I'm going to go ahead and select a 1X A100. And now this is going to load. Uh, I have 80 gigabytes allocated on this instance and I have selected the Uba Booga uh, web UI, uh, which is our recommended template. And so if I jump into my instances here, I can see that this is being created and set up for me. It's going to take uh, three, four or five minutes to load, uh, maybe a little bit longer. It's really going to depend on the internet connection speed of the machine and um, uh, the size of the image. Uh, this one loaded in about three and a half minutes for me. And now uh, the open button is going to open port 7860, uh, which was put in uh, the environment variables when we set this up. Um, and uh, there's a few things that were installed and set up on the onstart script. But anyways, this is all just stuff that's in the template that we have set up for Uba Booga. And I'm going to go ahead and open that interface up. And here it is. So uh, here's where you can actually query the model that you set up. Uh, the most important thing is that you're going to be downloading and setting up the model. So um, this software is not uh, developed or maintained by VAST. This is uh, open source software. So to understand how to use this software, you're going to want to uh, find the open source project uh, for this and and load that so here's the ubabuga github that's going to have a readme um, the of course the installation stuff you don't have to worry about because um, you're using a docker image and everything is is preloaded um, so you can place the models into the model folder, or when you're using the web UI, you can just simply go to the models tab where I was before, and here's where you can download the custom model. So for Hugging Face, you just use the username and model. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to try to, to use, just looking at the leaderboard, if I wanted to use this model, I would simply select the uh, username and the name of the model like that and copy and paste it into the web UI and hit download and now it is going to start downloading this model. Once that model is downloaded I will be able to load the model in here into the GPU uh, RAM and the instance sort of memory so that then I can query it and I can go back to text generation and actually start using it. There's probably some other things that um, you can do and become familiar with with this interface. Uh, this is a very nice way to run LLMs so that you don't have to use a command line. Um, so there's quite a bit here, uh, but again, you're going to want to read about this uh, in the Uga Booga GitHub. So if I go back and look at my instance, um, can see that it's running. Uh, you can also click on the billing tab if you just want to see, you know, if you're going to run something for multiple days, you can get an idea of how many credits you're going to need. Uh, you can set up your auto billing threshold uh, so that your instance is not stopped when your balance gets low. And that's the basics of running Uba Booga on Vast. Thanks for your time.